five years and still talking, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Remember when it used to look that busy? Busy too. Hi, this is the Ramble. I'm Alex, and we'll be here until midnight Eastern Daylight Time. Ladies and gentlemen, out in San Francisco, California, his name is Larry Bubbles Brown, and he hasn't been working much. But at least no one else has either, so I don't you, feel you, bad. Yeah, you, you don't feel like it's you're being put upon. I see. Okay, right. Uh, uh, there, there are no venues for you, right? There are no venues, and I'm uh, thinking. Well, our governor says uh, places like stand up might not be open till 2022. So. Oh, really? Yeah, and then the the clubs are saying the best they can see is maybe allowing 25 percent capacity in, which means nobody's going to get paid very much, and. So it's maybe this is a, this actually might kill stand-up comedy. It, it, well, it, it, at least for the foreseeable future, you know. Um, too bad you didn't get that job in television. Yeah. Too bad you didn't get that series. <laughs> yeah, we, right. we, were you ever up for a series? Never came. No, no, I never went. To, really went to L.A. and tried that whole uh, foray, but. Uh, because I, I always thought the, the, the main thing most comedians wanted to do was to do stand-up comedy long enough to get a series. Well, that's what I'd hoped for. I, and I never wanted my own show. That's too much responsibility. But to me, the epitome of what I wanted would have been to, like a supporting character in a sitcom. You well, know, the guy that came out and does three lines, gets laughs. Yeah. Well, you know, something though, I, I think you could, they could do a whole series about you. I think they could. I think with you as the lead character. Oh, I, fact, I couldn't see that at all. In fact, try this for a working title. Hello, Larry. <laughs> that was done. <laughs> now, most people don't know even what we're talking about anymore. But if you Great want... Plain Stevenson. Well, if you want to talk about major failure in the business, there are, there are things, there are reference points you make about that. And when it comes to comedy and sitcoms, it's Hello, Larry. <laughs> Either that. I love McLean Stevenson. Well, here's what happened with McLean Stevenson. This is the stupidest guy in America, right? He uh, he gets on Mash, which is the biggest at the time the biggest show on television. And about three seasons in, four seasons in, he decides he's quitting, and he goes. And he starts this, he's going to get his own series. Everybody's going, oh, McLean Stevenson's got a series. And they, but they tout it like crazy. You know, we can hardly wait for this successful guy from MASH to now have another success with a new show of his own, in which he's the star. And he does this thing called Hello, Larry. How many episodes did it last before they yanked it? I think maybe I one or two. Four. <laughs> yeah. It, they just yanked it. Uh, and... Did you ever hear from McLean Stevenson again? Yeah, you did, but not really. Not a lot. I think I saw him on Match Game. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. So um, it, 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 when you give it a kind of a, a, a... Certain things become iconic for failure, and Hello, Larry is one of them when you reference that. The other big failure was a show called Turn On. That lasted... What? One episode? I think it was actually didn't like as it as it went across the time zones, then some stations not even show it out. Yeah, I think as it got to the West Coast, some stations didn't even run it because they had gotten the <laughs> advance word what a what a bomb it was. Was that a George Slaughter show? Yeah, it was his oh. it, it was his comeback to laugh in, and it was on ABC instead of NBC, and um. Uh, who was it? My friend, my old friend Chuck McCann, if I remember Chuck correctly, said he was he was on the show. He had a um, he had a part on the show. He was one of the cast members. 
was was it was it Chuck who told me the story? I'm trying to remember. I think so. And he said they uh, they did the first show, and then it ran, and then he went in the next day, and he said he was surprised he didn't see tumbleweed going through the offices. He said there was nobody there, and he said I hadn't gotten the word, and I said what happened? He said we got canceled. He said, but it just went on last night. And they said, it's been canceled. So I packed up his stuff and left. <laughs> you know. Is, uh, is that a, on video available anywhere? Turn on. I think you can probably go to YouTube and maybe there's a. Oh, God, I'd love to see that. You know. Um, <clears throat> you know, I don't, I don't know, though. Let me see here. Like, I could look it up. You know, that's always possible. Here we go. Turn on. Turn on. Let me see here. N no. 69 or 70. T turn on uh, TV. Let me see here. No, I, 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 show full episode. Turn on TV. Show full episode? What might that be? Turn on the shortest lived TV show ever. Here it is. Um... I guess. I guess it's the whole episode. Um, I don't know. I have no idea. Let me see here. Oh, well, no, it's, a, it's an interview with George Slaughter. Slaughter about the show. Oh, no, here it is. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. I think it is the whole. No, it isn't the whole episode. Oh, well. Too bad. I, I bet if you go somewhere, you can find it. I'm, sure. I'm going to research that guy. I want to see who was on it, but I met Slaughter once. He's actually a very cool guy. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, let me see here. Turn on. I can look that up. On. Okay. Uh, turn on. T turn on love. Turn on. It. Wow. It doesn't even, isn't even listed in IMDb. Uh, hmm. That's weird. Son of a bitch. Well, I guess I guess that doesn't work. George Slaughter. Let me look up George Slaughter. Uh, how, how's that Slaughter spelled? S E H H. Oops. Let me see here. I can't find it. Can't find anything. It's like oh, here we go. George Slaughter. So then we go down to shows he's known for, and uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, we go back. What year was that? Do you remember? Um, uh, Red American Laugh Off. Oh, let's see here. Uh, turn, uh, turn on, turn on, turn on. I can't find it, and I, can't, I don't want to spend our whole time here me looking for it. But He did a bunch of Sinatra specials. That we do know, the Comedy Awards. Um, and um, let me see here. Laughing, there's laughing, but I don't see turn ons not even listed here. Boy, I guess you had to get all the way across the country in order to get listed. There's something like that. Amazing, just amazing. So you're not working. Oh, wait a minute. We lost him. We lost him. Yeah, let me try him again. Let me see here. Huh. Did we lose him? What happened? I don't know. We lost you as I was looking to see if I could find turn on. Yeah, I heard you say turn on, and then the phone went dead. Oh, and I started looking for it, and uh, I see. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Turn on. 1969. 69. And... Um, Hamilton Camp, uh, well, Chuck McCann. There's Chuck McCann. So I was right about it being Chuck McCann. Uh, multimedia Centerizing Sex, see full summary. Did it, did it mention synopsis? Um, it doesn't say anything about it being canceled. Being, yeah. But it is supposedly, in the history of television, the, mo the fastest canceled <laughs> show in history. Well, I think there was some... Uh there might have been some content that was considered offensive at the time. I think there was maybe that was why they were turning it off too. Or I think it was just a bad show. It was it, it was just they looked at it and they went, <laughs> you know. <laughs> 
Kind of like what they did with our friend uh, from Sacramento, uh, Jack uh, B- uh, Gallagher. Yeah. When he got a show on ABC, and they actually had, I, I've mentioned this to you, and I remember in TV Guide, they used to sometimes buy two pages next to each other, so it was just a whole fold out, you know, when you opened it up, mm-hmm. that said, Jack Gallagher's show, or here's Jack, or whatever the name of the show was. And um, it, 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 uh, it, 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 they just were publicizing it like crazy. It was due to go on Monday, and Monday they cancel it before it goes on. They spent all this money advertising it, all this money doing it, and I think maybe they ran it later on, played it off somehow. But they didn't play it off on the day it was supposed to start. Right. And, and I often uh, say... It's a shame because I think Jack is such a likable guy. I think he could have been huge. Well, I also said about Jack Gallagher, uh, by the way, he plays Larry David's doctor on uh, Curb sure. Your Enthusiasm. I said to to Jack, I said, boy, what kept you from slicing your wrists? He said, my wife. (laughs) He said, yeah. (laughs) He said, that was was one of those moments, you know, that's just disgusting. You know, that you go, I I was sitting there waiting for my, my success to happen. And then it was just pulled out from underneath me, you know. So he went back to Sacramento, became a fairly well-known TV personality in Sacramento and, uh, you know, occasionally shows up like he did on Curb Your Enthusiasm. When I saw him on Curb Your Enthusiasm, I went, great, I'm glad he finally got something. Yeah, Yeah, great guy, and uh, he's done a bunch of one-man shows that are really good. Yeah, 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 he was a really sweet guy, really sweet that's when, uh, boy, that's when TV had so much money, and getting a sitcom was just the uh, (laughs) the possibility of tens of millions of dollars were there. Uh, I'm sure that he maybe walked away with a couple of million dollars when they didn't run it. You know? Uh, 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 You remember Schimmel. Uh, Schimmel got uh, cancer before his series was even going to be shot at Fox, and they'd signed a deal with them. And so they canceled the deal because they said, you know, we don't want to take a risk on somebody who's got cancer, but we got to pay you. So they paid him something like $10 million to get out of the contract. Jesus, really? That's how big the money wow. was. I didn't in know that. <laughs> oh, what, you, you, you could get paid an immense amount of money for them to get out of a contract. No, TV was just throwing money at people back then. Yeah, uh, they don't. Not so much now. Not now. <laughs> you have to go. You have to go to Netflix to get that kind of money. Yeah. You know, and then they'll throw somebody like Chappelle fifty million to do three specials. Yeah, don't you think he probably would have done it for twenty five million? <laughs> I, you know, uh, well, you and I would have done it for twenty five cents, but you know. <laughs> You know, you would, have you seen? By the way, you have you seen Bob Rubin's special on Netflix? It came out last week. I haven't seen it yet. Have you? Yeah. Uh, you can I get a rating? Uh, I'm going to give it a ten out of ten, just because I like him. But if I didn't know him, I turned it off after about five minutes. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and I know, you know, I love his work. But I don't think this thing represented him as well as it should have, you know. Mm-hmm. Either that, or he spent so many years in the in the in the pit waiting to be found that when he finally got found, he had no new act really, you know. I I, I don't know. There was something very wrong with it though, and uh, uh, I couldn't. Uh, I I didn't stick with it. I tried to stick with it because I love Bob. You yeah, know? I haven't seen it. It was actually shot three years ago. Yeah, yeah, I know, and I had something to do with it. I think I gave him some money to do it, you know, so. Whatever, you know. Hey, uh, what, what's time? Oh, we still got about a minute and a half. Anything you want to bring up? Uh, let's see. I want to, uh, I saw, uh, you, you know so much about actors. I saw this thing on YouTube last night, Tippi Hedren, where she's got this. She's got like 44 tigers. I know. She's a big animal rights person. Yeah. Yeah, and she's, uh, it just looks like an amazing life she's got. And I think I only know that one film she did with Hitchcock. But yeah, she why, did. Why was her career not Well, bigger? she did two films with Hitchcock. Uh, 
She did uh, she did The Birds, and she did uh, what was that one where she was the woman who kills people and stuff like that? Marnie. But Marnie, yeah, and that was it. That was her career. Pretty much, uh, pretty much ended then. You know. Hey, listen, we've run out of time. So's Tippy uh-huh. Hedren's career. Uh, <laughs> And so is my career. So is your career. Okay. Well, I got to see the Bob Rubin Netflix special now. Yeah. Well, go watch. I I want everybody to watch it because I think he's a very funny guy. Maybe if you've never seen him before and you have nothing to compare it to in the past, uh, it'll do do you just fine. You know. Okay. Anyway, hey, listen. Thank you so much for joining you, me. Alex. And we'll talk to you in a couple of weeks. Yes, Larry get Bubbles today. You be good for you. I will. Bye. Five years and still talking. This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. And there he was, Bob Rubin. Not Bob Rubin. Larry Bubbles Brown. We were talking about Bob Rubin. Larry Bubbles Brown. Hello, everyone. I guess I look better with glasses on because then you don't see these bags. Oh, the bags under my eyes. I hate them. I just hate them. I was going to have something done about them. And then, uh, and then the coronavirus happened, and so my whole, my whole on-screen look, will have to remain the same for a while. Anyway, um, uh, how are you? How's it going? How's everything in your neck of the woods? Huh? Uh, in our neck of the woods, uh, it's it's going okay. You know, I mean, uh, a little less pollen today, so I'm feeling a little better. Uh, but um, uh, just feeling tired all the time. I did the bike today. I did the uh, the, uh, the the Peloton today uh, for 20 minutes. That's all. And that for me, that's good. I mean, I uh, girlfriend goes, "Oh, good for you." You know, like she does an hour, okay. But I, uh, 20 minutes of being on a bike with the seat hurts. Uh, I and I'm trying to figure out maybe if I lift it higher, it won't hurt. But the seat hurts a lot, and. Uh, 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 so I'm good for 20 minutes before I just go, eh, that hurts too much. I mean, I'm going to have to learn how to move the seat up and down and what I do with it exactly so that it's, it's where it should be. But anyway, uh, I, I worked out today. Huh. I thought it would make me not feel as tired afterwards. So I got finished, took a shower, and then took a nap. <laughs> Listen, nap's a major thing in our lives right now. That's it. that's exciting. Okay. Anyway, let me uh, let's take a look at the map today. This is our uh, this is our uh, everybody's dying in the world map. This is uh, totally confirmed in the world. Six million seven hundred thirty-one thousand eight hundred and twenty uh, eight hundred twenty-four. Okay. Global deaths almost going to reach uh, four hundred thousand pretty soon. Uh, we're th- 394,787. Um, we go to the United States, and uh, we're at 1,897,239. We take, we're about a third, maybe a little less than a third of the world's uh, cases, okay? And we now are up to 109,000. 127. We're approaching 110,000. New York is not doing their part, though. Here in New York today, the governor told us that in the past 24 hours, only 42 people died. That is the lowest it has been since we started keeping records on this thing. And it really has gone down appreciably, which is really nice. Um, uh, And we're hoping that it will continue to go down. Um, because, quite frankly, we like it to be that way. Uh, it, 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 you know, um, it, it, it's nice to know that not as many people are dying. And plus, uh, the actual people, I think he said yesterday, the actual amount of people testing positive when they do the test is only 2% now in New York City, where at one point, I think like a month and a half ago or something like that, it was 26%. So uh, hopefully it's low enough that all those people who are marching won't be giving each other the coronavirus. Brazil gets worse and worse and worse. Hold on a second. Let me just uh, bring this up. Uh, come on. Worse and worse and worse. Here, 
of, wait a minute, hold on a second. Come on. There we go. 614,941. That's about, I mean, maybe 50,000 more than yesterday. I mean, they're really in trouble. 34,021 deaths so far. They are, they are the most infected place on the face of the planet. Look at this. See that thing going up there? See that going up there? There we go. Uh, behind it is Russia. Russia is now up to 5,520 global deaths with uh, 449,256 totally confirmed uh, cases in Russia. Uh, before in Russia, you see all these little dots? Those dots are places, hot spots, where there are cases of it. And now, um, there was usually, you, you only was like the center one was the only one that was there. And now it's all over. It, it, it's, it's getting quite freckled. So Russia's got its problems too. But, uh, you know, that's the way uh, it is. Uh, that's the way it's looking, you know. And uh, uh, it's not going to be, it's, we hope the, in the United States the number is, is going up. Uh, we are going down here in New York. We, are, we, we went like this, and then we went, mm, but finally we're down at a very low point. I think maybe something like, maybe like 150 new cases in hospitals. And, you know, not everybody who goes to the hospital and is a case uh, winds up um, getting it. Uh, badly, but they get it badly enough that they have to be hospitalized. Intubations are down. All those things are down here in New York, and I hope we keep it that way, and that we're not uh, in any any major major trouble. Anything else to talk about? Nah, nothing else to talk about. Uh, our president today was gloating because the um, the employment figures came in, and they were they were down considerably. Uh, but they don't know if that's for real. Uh, that may be because a lot of people, a, a lot of people were getting PPP, whatever that is, where the where people get money to pay people to work for them, even though they don't come to work. And uh, so they counted that as being employed. Uh, and now we'll we'll see in a week what happens, or in a couple of weeks what happens, whether that goes down further or whether it goes up. But all I know is the president was bragging today and saying um, that uh, the, uh, the guy who was killed in Minneapolis is looking down from heaven and probably very happy that all these black people have jobs. Only it turned out that they don't have jobs. Uh, this isn't a, it's basically white people <laughs> who got jobs. So, you know, I mean, I, I'm, I'm so sick of that man. I'll be so glad when he's gone, and he will be. I, I don't, I don't, I don't see how this country, even if we're complete idiots, will vote for him, okay? And if you think you gotta be an idiot to vote for Joe Biden, well, fine, let us be that kind of idiot, okay? Anyway, let me, uh, let me turn on the, uh, the Skype. So far, the last couple of nights, it's been working perfectly, but it's because it isn't the preview version that I'm using. One night, I'm gonna turn on the preview version and see how it goes. Uh, it probably is not going to go very well. Let me see here. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Boom, boom, boom. Let me see here. Uh, where, where is it? Cabinet Live. Wow, our, our logo isn't there. What's, what's the problem? Uh, let, me, uh, let me turn this off a second. Quit Skype. And then let me start it up again and see. Huh. It could be that we have lost our, our, our logo. Oh, there it is. Okay, now we're fine. Okay. Ta -da -ta -ta -da -da. All right, and I turn ourselves on, we're on, and we're ready to go. Huh? All we need now are people to call us. And uh, they probably will any second now. Let me get my panel ready here so that I can uh, get them in there. Or maybe nobody will call, and I can turn around and go to sleep early. Yeah, I never go to sleep early. It gets to be like 1.30. And I watch something else, and then it's 2 o'clock, and you get something else. I just noticed that Brian Neary tried to call, but, uh, oh, here we go. 
Okay, let's okay. see here. Uh, it sounds like Brian's there. Ah, there Hello. is Brian. Okay, let me transition you over there. Okay, there we go. Okay. Did you try to call once before? Was it, did you get on? Yeah. yeah, I think I, right when you said, I'm going to open, and then I hit the button. Yeah, oh, I see. Trouble getting on, so. Okay, here comes Charlie. Let's see if he comes on okay. Come on, Charlie. Come on, there we go. Yeah, it's all working. It's all working tonight. Yep, yep, yep. So so I, I don't even have to do anything because you guys were the first two last night. Oh, wait a minute. Here comes Rob Alfano. I believe Rob was in the first place last night. And uh, let's see here. Kevin, uh, he was uh, way down. So I've got to put him in fourth place tonight. And he is, of course, Hog Rider. There we go. And we got him. And there we go. There we go. Oh, yeah. You know, Kevin, your beard is looking like you haven't had the ability to get it cut. Nope. <laughs> I am, is it time for me to get a haircut again? Nah, let it run. Nah, I'll let it go. You know what I'm doing? I'm growing, I'm growing my beard out here. I just figured I got nothing else to do. I may as well grow beards, you know. I'm not gonna grow it as long as yours, though. I don't. I don't want the Letterman look. Yeah. Hello, Rob. Got to turn the mic on. Have How you, are you? Have you been shaving? <clears throat> yeah, I shaved today. Did you really? I yeah. I shaved. I mean, I shaved here, but I uh, because I I did the bike and so I was sweaty, so I had to take my shower for the first time in a month. And you know, <laughs> so I went. I went on YouTube and they had a Trump ad. Believe it or not. On oh, YouTube? there's a ton of them. Oh, I've seen so many of them. Yeah, and banners. It's pretty funny. And and banners too. Really? Yeah. Tons of Trump banners. There was wow. a Happy Birthday Trump banner last week. Okay. <laughs> His birthday Maybe. until the 14th, though. Let me see here. Let me get Josh the day here. Day before mine. Here's it makes Josh. me sick. What's this? What were you? Yeah, and on top of it, it's on Flag Day too. Yeah, but some there's some noise like a fan or something. I don't know what it is. Is somebody? Somebody got a okay. Well, whatever it is, it's kind of lowered itself. So somebody did something. Was it was it you, uh, Kevin, at all that had the fan? No. No, my fan's not on. Your fan's not on, Kevin. How about you, Brian? Was it yours, no. Josh? Do you have a fan on there? Uh, it, it might it might have been. I don't have a fan on, but the uh, air conditioning is running. I've got the vent closed yeah. off, so it might be a little bit loud. Yeah, it's air conditioning time. My air conditioning is on too. Okay, here comes Phil. Phil has been uh, he's been lagging behind lately. Usually, he used to be the first guy to call. And um, I, scuba, I keep scuba, uh, right? getting a thing that says my signal's too weak. And uh, I had to reboot the computer and then click on the uh, okay. connect connection, and then finally I got through. No, really? Okay. Well, let me see here. I got to I gotta get, uh, let me see here. I got to get rid of Kevin there, and I got to get uh, in seventh place. I got to put, uh, I got to put um, Pamela Zeller. Uh, hi. 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 Hi, Pam. How are you? Fine, how are you? <laughs> you? You want some of my hormone? Huh? What? Uh, Jeff, you want some of my hormone? I try. I think about using it. Now, are, you, are you feeling the hormones at all, Phil? Huh? Are you feeling the hormones now? Uh, this morning, my ass hurt. <laughs> well, that was all from, that was from all the butt fucking you did the night before. I guess the guy missed. Huh? <laughs> it was just the right cheek. Mm. Otherwise, you don't feel anything? Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Anyway. Uh, hey, Phil. So how are you guys doing tonight? <laughs> how are you doing, Josh? We haven't talked to you in a week. Give us an update. What's it like at work? Is it all... Uh, uh, temperature taking and um, uh, <laughs> we don't do any of that shit. No swabbing and shit like that. 
I don't have any time for that. There's money to be made. We don't have time for temperature taking and, and all that. And, and no, and no I, swabbing. Guys yeah. that make paint are real men. Right. Yeah. Yeah. None of that. Let me see here. I mean, they they want people to wear masks, but they're having a lot of trouble getting everyone to cooperate. So what is, what is it that people have against masks? I mean, I know they're not they're not comfortable. You know, yeah. I mean, uh, on a hot day, we probably don't want, wouldn't want to wear them, but we're going to have to. So you do it, you know. Yeah, yeah, they're they're having a lot of trouble. I mean, some of it I can understand. I mean, some of the guys are like, man, you're telling me I don't work around anybody, so can I just like, you know, put it on or pull it back up or whatever. What well, if you're in an office all by yourself? Going somewhere, yeah. If you're in an office by yourself, there's no reason to have the mask up. Yeah. You know. uh, but if you're, if you're going out among the people in the office, yeah, you got to have it, you know. But what, yeah. I, what I don't get are these people that walk around with the masks and they got them down here. Yeah. There's you know what that is? I think they forget. Oh. You know, because they put them down, then they go about their business, and you forget they're there. Yeah, we got a county supervisor that does it on purpose because he's all against them. They they have a face covering. Nobody said that they had to cover their nose. You just had to wear a face covering. So they're complying. No, but for it to work, it's supposed to be the nose and the mouth. Okay, and really, you should wear dark glasses outside or wear glasses inside. Because the am I am I right, Brian? Uh, the yep. the um, a virus can infect you through your eyes. Uh, yeah, we're doing a three phase way right now because people are going to start coming back. Yeah. So we we have we just had a meeting yesterday and they did talk about that. They can go through the nose, mouth, or the eyes. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I've been uh, pulling the mask uh, up. And getting it under my, just under the bottom of my glasses, so I don't fog the uh, the glasses. That's the a good idea. Is on the nose, but under the glasses, your exhale will fog the glasses. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, you're, uh, supposed to, to you're supposed to pinch that uh, that. Uh, uh, well, on the fab, the the, uh, the ones that I, I got free from Kaiser. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, instead of the N95s, these are like surgical masks. Yeah, well, surgical masks are just as good. Well, they, they, they have sort of a, a thing you can pinch, but they don't. It, it must be a piece of uh, plastic or no, something. It, no, it's, 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 a piece of, it's a piece of metal that's in there. So that yeah. you just. You yeah, know, just yeah, like, like that. that. Yeah. That's the one. Yeah, that would be some metal. Yeah. Don't yeah. you have uh, riding paste for riding on motorcycles? I got that little paste that you rub on your glasses so it doesn't fog up. Uh, you know, I have those, but it's in the motorcycle. And the motorcycle's in the storage thing. Uh, oh, shit. Go get like it. That. It's just a little tube of paste. It's called anti-fog. Yeah. I mean, that, that's the problem in the with us, though, really, is, I mean, yeah. you know, you have to wear the safety glasses, and they also make us yeah. wear these yeah. ones yeah. with, like, the foam inserts because <laughs> yep. of, like, splashing and things that can actually get behind those regular ones and stuff. And they always fog up anyway, even without the mask. The mask just makes it <laughs> yeah, a exactly. lot worse. If you, if you, you want know? to really be hip... Okay, yeah, wear one of these. <laughs> yeah, uh, was okay. that a shower cap or a beret? No, that's actually a surgical, uh, a, a surgical a deal. Yeah, yeah. But, let me see here. Let you me. You don't play. need a haircut. It's like a ninety-year-old uh, woman going out the Safeway. Huh? You look like a ninety-year-old woman where you know going to Safeway who hadn't had their her hair done in a while. Oh, I see. Hold on a second. Me? I'm, 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 oh, no. oh, Alex. I'm trying. Uh, I got to find John like Larkin here. You're getting ready here. to go take a shower. Let's <laughs> see here. I, oh, oh, John, I've got to do Some you. His mask below his nose. Which one of these? I'm on. I'm on. I'm on the street now in the beautiful, empty downtown San Francisco. <laughs> oh, really? Okay. Oh, is that yeah, look at the tenderloin. Oh, there's Tad's Steakhouse. Is that Tad's? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the, the new, my father the new used to take me to Tad's Steakhouse. Really? Not when on I Ellis was a kid. anymore. They're on the corner. When I was a kid. No, now, now yeah. it's on Ellis. It moved from Powell. Okay. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. It's on Ellis, but it used to be one ten Powell. Yeah. Tur right. Can you yeah. turn? Yeah. Can you turn your camera sideways? Uh, I, I, you seem to be. We don't seem to be getting you landscape. Huh. Oh okay. 
Listen, uh, um, no, that doesn't work either. For some reason, you're you're just oh well, just do it the other way. Don't do it that way. It's not like this. The, the Union Square Hotel, which True. was the home of Tad's. Tad's was in uh, in that building. Yeah, yeah. yeah. At one and Powell and Ellis. Yeah. Just do it that way. I, you know, I. I, I just I just bought a steak from Tad's. So. Seven yeah, nine. How much are they uh, now? How much are they? Now these? they're like they're like twenty five now. What? But, yeah. When and I was a kid, a my father took me in there. They were, how much were they? They were like uh, they were like uh, ninety nine cents. I think was the price. Yeah. yeah. Hey, yeah. Not in this century. <laughs> I was in Costco today buying some coffee and some other stuff, and I went up to the meat area. Oh, good. Don't go. Five dollars for three or four steaks. Yeah, we just, we just bought four ribeyes. They were eighty bucks. Oh wow. Oh. To pay fifteen bucks or something like that. No, nah, they've been going up lately over the last month and a half or so. Yeah, may have to study. It's them. worth it though because no, at least with us, I haven't eaten out in three four months. So if you spend twenty bucks on a good steak that you're going to throw in the grill, yeah, you know, yeah, the hell. yeah, I start yeah. going to a butcher. Here's Powell Street. Yeah, yeah. If the problem that the problem that we have with you is that it it won't go when you try to make it go into um, landscape mode it can't it won't I don't know why. We need to block the rotation on this phone. All right. Home okay. I'll, I'm gonna I'm gonna check out when I get home I'll fix it. Well, un unlock the rotation is what you need to do. To do. Uh, oh, you, yeah. you go into the home screen, and uh, it'll give you a choice to do that. Yeah. Well. Okay. I Anyway, right. he's going home anyway, so we'll yeah. we'll we'll check in with him in uh, just a bit. I'll check in later. Okay. Yeah, I'll check in later. Okay, uh, but that was John Larkin. Uh, he wasn't on Larkin just off Street Larkin. though, huh? Just off Larkin. Just off Larkin. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, so uh, um, so anyway, so yeah. Um, I just you know I I we just I just use a regular surgical mask. You know, it's, and it, you're right. It does fog up your glasses a little bit. So, but uh, yeah, we have in our clean rooms. They have the mask and they have the glasses and they fog those up. And if you're a new employee, then you have your prescription glasses until your new glasses come in. So they have the prescription glasses and then the other glasses because they have the side the side covers, and they have all this stuff on and it just steams up everything. Well, you know, I'm jealous. I think, I think that there's going to be bragging rights on masks now. I see all these great. The I I love the black masks. Those are yeah. yeah, but I don't I don't know where to. Find, I ordered some and they came and they were terrible masks. They were just uh, horrible. I haven't even worn them. Huh? The Biden campaign is selling those masks. Uh, I, I'm I'm surprised Trump is, and it'd be it's a great chance to put "Make America Great Again" on the front of people's faces. Uh, no, but he doesn't want people wearing them. But he doesn't want to admit that people have to wear masks. There's That's what I mean, right? Yeah. That's the the catch twenty two for him. There's got to be a way to send away and get a mask with your photo with the photo of your face on it. The so bottom part of your face. <laughs> Just, no, well, you know why? So your That's iPhone, so your iPhone will recognize you. I don't know it, it, it because won't. it's not 3D. Yeah, it won't. Well, um, if I if I know, I have to actually pull my mask down for my phone to turn on and right. I can put it back. Or you got to punch in the yeah. six-digit yeah. code. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I, I would love, you know, there's got to be some site, you know, where you go and you get a mug with your picture on it. or uh, Yeah, Custom Ink like does it, and there's a bunch of them now. Yeah, you just, just get a, a site, you send them your picture, and they and they make the but mask. You know, but you know what? I don't trust those masks because I they're just, they're making them. But we don't know that they're making them to standard, you know. They don't be, have to be. They don't have to be? No, it's, no, they're just covers. Just, they're all covers. There's yeah. no standard for them. Well, no, but they're they're, just, I think I think there is with like the surgical no, mask. There, they have there like, isn't a standard for them because they're just stopping your spray. That's all they're doing. I, yeah, you know, the lady cool. around the corner that makes them, our our local our local government said, anybody that wants to make masks, we'll give you five bucks. We got ten thousand dollars to spend. We're gonna give anybody five bucks a mask to make them. And every little old lady around here started making masks, and they sold them back to the local government for five bucks a piece. Wow! And then they gave them out to the to the to the people that couldn't afford them. 
for free. We have about 100 masks here. You know where we got them from? The super? No. China. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, we don't do that. And then I I was don't I was ordering elastic straps and giving them to her so she could make them. You know, uh -huh. I'd order 50 yard spool of strapping so that she could make it. I think I gave her 150 yards of strapping. And she made me a 49er one and a Sharks one. Wow. wow. So, yeah. So I just use those when I go out. Yeah. Boy, we, we have... But there's, there's no standard to them. All, the, all it's doing mm -hmm. is stopping your spray. It has no scientific thing to it at all. You know, a couple times my father used the strap on me. You know. Yeah. There you go. Was it elastic? You got the wealth for it, too. <laughs> Someone used one last night. I talked about strap-ons. <laughs> Someone yeah. used one on you last night. What's that? A strap on. You said your butt hurt, right? Oh yeah. Well, my, uh, it, when they gave me the injection site, you know. Yeah, so sure, Phil. Girl, sure, right? we Phil. Sure, sure. We know the hormones are making you kind of play for the other team. Uh, wait till I get the radiation on Monday. Oh, yeah. the radiation. And Tuesday. Well, and your when. radiation is low dose. I, I'm not, I don't know. No, it is. Yeah, I know. Just, I know the, what just, that is. That's what. That's what. If Vernon Nunn would call, he could tell you about it because he did that kind of radiation, oh, wow. and it's low dose. That's why there are uh, uh, he, five a he, week. He did it a while ago, and did they have these sophisticated machines that could actually give you a low dose, extremely directed? Uh, beam, but you're not getting you're not getting the 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 that that beam. That beam is what we call the cyber knife or the stereotatic. Well, they're doing stereotatic, but uh, they said that they're going to do it in the in the area where the prostate was. Yeah, but Phil, I mean, I for so far as I know, stereotatic is only five treatments. Uh, well, why do they? Well, that's they said that I asked him about that, and he said that's if you have a prostate. But uh, I, I, why did they put the three tattoos on me? Oh, they did that with me too. I, I suspect I still have them. I haven't looked, but I, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and uh, they tattooed they, me, and I said, I guess I can. You know, I pulled the joke, right? I can yeah. never be buried in a Jewish cemetery. Say, and yeah. and they had the reply for me immediately, very serious, saying, "No, the rabbis have said this is for health reasons, and it's okay." <laughs> and I You're went. Coach. I was just I, kidding for crying. Are they three out. little Jewish yeah. stars? And no, 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 they're little. I know. They're little dots. Butterfly. In fact, if you want to know what part of the whole procedure that I went through between that radiation and the seeds and everything hurt the most, it was the tattoo. Yeah, it stings. How yeah. much people get a big tattoo? Yeah, I have no oh, idea. Wait. Are they? Oh my God! Yeah, but they hey, use Caddy. The, it's a Cadillac logo. They they use those to aim the the radiation. Yeah. 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 Well, uh, you know, my uh, Faye's son-in-law is a uh, tattoo artist, and he does these big Japanese uh, tattoo sleeves, and you know, full back, and kind of almost like um, not ninja, but uh, yakuza. Jesus. Boy, nobody, yeah. nobody's watching tonight. What is this? I don't know. Is so something anyway, going on? Without protesting, that's why. Uh, the, uh, or rioting. Uh, <laughs> it's loose. Uh, he does these big tattoos, and just those three little dots, uh, you know, that hurt. Oh, yeah. Don't they know it? Oh, no. They don't know it? Yeah. But they, they did that, and then they, they, there was this whole preparation. They did what they called the rehearsal. Did they do yeah. that with you at all? No. Uh, there was no singing and dancing. No, they put me in a in a, a CT scan, and then they just you know they put the dots in the place and everything. And they were just testing to see where how they were going to do it, and then I went in and did it. Uh, took me a week and a half, five days every other day, for yeah, a week and a half. Well, if that's what a rehearsal is, then they gave me a CT scan. Mm -hmm. They made me uh, evacuate. Yeah. Uh, and uh, got to drink. Got to drink five glasses of water. Yeah, yeah, I drank the water, and uh, I get there. I drank all the water, and then they said, "Well, there's somebody ahead of you, so you're gonna have to wait." And so, <laughs> oh, I, I, know, I, I'll tell you. I'll give you a worse story than that. I peed. <laughs> yeah, I had no. a pee, and he, then I had to drink more. Here's the worst oh, story. The worst yeah. story. They tell me. You've got to drink your five or seven, I think it was five, glasses of water. And I just chug a lug them. I want to get them out of the way, right? And I go in, I lie down. Now, here's all this machinery. It's like sci-fi, right? 
rotating around me and they're looking at stuff and part of it's a CT scan and part of it, the, 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 they say, we'll let you know when the radiation is going to take place. And then they're gone and it goes for about a half hour and then they say to me, your bladder's too full. <laughs> Go empty a little bit of it. Can't, can't empty a little yeah. Well, well, I said, well, first they gave me the option. I could just go pee and then I would have to drink more water. Or if could I just let a certain amount out? So I figured I'd try that first. Well, that is the most difficult thing you can do. I mean, I did it. I, I went jip, jip, and then I, you know. And then I go back to the table and they start with the thing again. I said, oh, that's perfect now, you know. So the whole time you're laying there, you have yeah. to pee. No, I didn't have to pee before I. they made me pee to get rid of a little bit of it, to empty the bladder because it was too full. I didn't make it to the CT scan. On the way there, I said, I need a bathroom. And uh, uh, I, I didn't so have that she, problem at all. So, so yeah. she said, well, I drank 32 ounces, and then they made me wait uh, because somebody was but ahead the, of me. But the first, yeah. It's like and, a real city skin room. <laughs> so uh, I, I said, okay, I, I got to pee. So I tried to uh, do a little bit, but it, it was like a fire hose. There was no turning it off. Oh <laughs> it was, uh, so I peed, and then they did an ultra, a scan, like an ultra scan or something, mm -hmm. and uh, they said, um, you don't have enough liquid, so you're going to drink more. Actually, i got to save this. So I haven't done my, my third episode of I've Got Cancer, which I talk about the, the seed part of it. Yeah. But what I did talk about when I talked about the... The, uh, uh, the the what do you call it, the radiation that I got because I got the radiation then I got the seeds is mm -hmm. that uh, I I go in there and lie down and these things go whirling around you okay. and it, they whirled around the first time they did about f 40 minutes before they then said okay we're going to radiate you now that'll take two minutes I'm right. going what were we doing just now you know <laughs> plus there was this one part of the scan that every time it would come around, I knew that I was finished. Mm -hmm. So it would come by, and I would say, hi, old pal. How are you? <laughs> you know. <laughs> but I, you know, it, when, when they did it the first time, I walked out of there, and I went, are they, are they sure they're just not charging me money for this, but nothing's <laughs> happening? Yeah. Because it is so benign. Yeah. That you you wonder if anything if anything ha I want a proof I want a written proof that I had been radiated. You it's know? like a it's like an X-ray. Yeah, you know? yeah. You don't just you don't know. And then yeah. I guess about the about the, the fourth time I started having certain peeing problems. You know, mm -hmm. uh, I so I knew it it was it was working. Alex, yeah. What's the third eye on your forehead? That's that's <laughs> where they missed. Uh, but no, but it, it, it's really, it's quite a, it's quite a, I, I found it, I love that part of it. The yeah. other part of it kind of is not, you know, it's not as fun. Uh, yeah. But, uh, you know, I had a chance to find out what's, what it's like to be Patrick because <laughs> they did, uh, they did a spinal tap on me and oh. they numbed me using a spinal, which by the way, doesn't hurt. I mean, they, they oh, did. What they Pregnant women when they're giving birth, what do they call that? A um, epidural. 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 Yeah, this is not an epidural. This is a spinal, and you're you're dead from the waist down, hmm. uh, and 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 then you get out of this hole, and, they, and they're operating on you while you're awake. But he gave me oh enough uh, uh, enough happy juice, so that I really didn't care. I was enjoying the high. Were you nervous, Alex, or you weren't aware of it? Like well, I was nervous because I didn't know what to expect. And then when they said to me, we're not going to put you out, we're going to give you a spinal, I went, oh, my God, you know. Yeah, but they, he, was, he was down there doing all this stuff and everything, and I, I, was, I was in la-la land. I wasn't out. I was just very happy. And uh, after it was over, they sent me back to recovery, and I'm lying there waiting for the bottom half of my body to come oh awake. And it's taking forever. When they did the angioplasty on me, I was in La La Land, but I actually was able to have a conversation with really? the surgeon. You yeah. know, I said, "Oh, is you know, is that you know?" Because they had a, sc a video screen of what was going on. Mm -hmm. I'm watching the video screen and I'm seeing them go into the thing. And then I, you found out they were just playing pong. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 
but but it, 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 you know it it um, I've never had that much surgery in my life. I mean, I had this whole process, you know. But I'm through with them out the other side. And today, for the first time, I said, you know, I'm kind of my peeing's getting back to normal now, you know. So it's uh, you know, and I'm gonna go get my blood test in a week. I What's made it been an appointment. Four months? Huh? It's been about four months for you? No, it's been uh, it's been uh, it's been it's been almost three. Oh. I think they're gonna want me to go in for the CT scan soon. Yeah. You know, and they wanted the blood test before, but I wasn't. I wasn't leaving the house. I wasn't going to go anywhere where there were sick people getting tested. Yeah, you're right. You know, well, they, they don't. At this quest, they do not do tests for COVID. They don't mm -hmm. do the COVID test. Uh, so there's nobody there who's going in for COVID. <clears throat> but I'm going early in the morning because they take care of old people early in the morning and make sure you're, you have a safe distance and all of that, you know. But I'm not as afraid of the outdoors, but now that I'm not as afraid of the outdoors, there's nowhere to go. I'm not, I'm not hitting the subway and going down to Apple, you know. I'm not getting on the subway and doing this, that, and the other thing. Uh, Bring a brick so you can get a new iPad. What? <laughs> Bring, bring, a brick. Brick. bring a brick so I can get a new iPad, yeah. Take checks, I get a brick. Yeah, yeah well, they, they give you 50% off if you bring a brick. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and don't throw it through their window. Yeah, really. Um, they, got, they, got, they got their stores were broken into, right? Some of them, yeah. 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 Um, you know, um, today the president's getting a lot of heat for what he said about uh, 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 what I keep forgetting the guy's name. I don't know why. Floyd, right? Floyd. Okay. Yeah. Uh, um, um, it, 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 he got a, a lot of heat for what he said today because he was he was he was invoking what Floyd must be thinking up in heaven. Yeah. And and that you know so I it, it isn't anybody can anybody tell him shut the fuck up, you know you only make it worse every time you open your mouth. Did you hear the uh, interview Biden gave with Don Cheadle today? No. No. Uh, I, I can't remember verbatim what he did, but he kept repeating himself and uh, saying something that made Don Cheadle kind of wince. Uh, Laura Ingram is a cunt. You are watching her, weren't you? Of course I am. <laughs> God damn. She's hard. I watched that because I saw the Bubbles interview already oh, and she is just... fucking off her rocker. No, wait, 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 wait. Back up. I'm, no. I'm missing something here. Okay. Biden, you were watching that shit. She's out of her tree. A video of Biden and Don Cheadle. Oh, a light. You know, I think he's a great actor. Yeah, but they, if it was on her show, it was edited, right? Oh, it's edited like no tomorrow, and they sat there and picked and chose exactly what they wanted to put on. You talk about propaganda. Oh, my God. <laughs> you know, that, that woman is out of her tree. Well, it didn't say that it was opinion. Uh, they presented it was opinion <laughs> as, uh, as if it was a legitimate video. That's the scary part about Fox News. Yeah. That, that was, you know, you talk about exactly what they were talking you know who talks you know about what, what? that show is all do you remember what they purported uh, biden to say yeah she she was pl they were playing what he said and then they were cutting it and then making jokes about it yeah but what he did was, he say i couldn't tell what he was saying he was he was a little off he was trying to explain that a protest it's not the protesting it's the protest yeah. It's what they were protesting about. And it made sense, but the context in which they put it was absolutely stupid. Well, it sounded, it sounded good and stupid to me. <laughs> yeah, well, that's because you were sitting on Laura hormones, Ingram's lap. Yeah. The hormones are affecting your brain. Yeah, yeah. well, me, well you, you, you know, I, I can understand it, Phil. It's okay. It's well, okay. It's okay, Phil. Phil, it's going to be all right, Phil. Hey, it's, it's going to be okay. okay. It's all right. Uh, Actually, Laura Ingram. Hey, is hey, you have female, to... you have female hormones in you now. So I'll just say what I will say to any female. No, dear, it's my fault. Uh, anyway, well, this, this <laughs> may be my lesbian thing, but uh, Laura Ingram was starting to look good to me. Oh, really? 
As long as you turn down the sound. <laughs> no, 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 what you have to be worried about is when, uh, 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 what's his name, uh, the guy that comes on before her. Uh, oh, uh, Tucker. Tucker. Not Han uh, Tucker Hannity. Han when the Hannity. Tucker when, Hannity. Yeah, when Hannity enough. starts looking good. Who's too. getting a divorce? Hannity. Is he? Yep. That's Mr. Yeah, Catholic. So I forgot to tell you, Alex. I was reading. Oh it. my. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'd love to hear the wife come, but he probably. What are they, you think she's going to sign on like one of those things where she can't talk? Like you know, what do they call non-disclosure? Well, I don't think she has to. I mean, she is due a great deal of money. How Even, long have they been married? Uh, I, well, I mean, if if this is his wife for years and years and years, which I yeah. assume it is. Yeah, because she's got two oh, kids. Oh, she's gonna saying. she's gonna take him to the goddamn cleaners. Yeah. Uh, what did he do to yeah, uh, uh, invoke this uh, divorce proceeding? He was Sean Hannity. Just... <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that enough? <laughs> Isn't that enough? <laughs> hey, you know, I can... <laughs> you were Alex Bennett, and it happened what, four times. You know. Yeah, um, yeah, they left me. They left me, which was very <laughs> smart on their part. If I, if I if I have any disrespect, it's for Marjorie that she stuck around. <laughs> <laughs> Susan didn't leave you, did she? Susan didn't leave me. Uh, no, that was me leaving her. Yeah, she was the one I left. It, it just cracks me up that you, you see all this crap that they're bitching and whining about all the protesting and how. You know, it's nothing but thugs, and it's all the Democrats that are thugs, and there's they, there's nothing that's happening. That, that, that there's no Republicans out there at all, and it's all Democrats out in the streets that are tearing the shit out of everything, and uh, there's no Republicans. They're all sitting at home watching this shit on TV, and uh, it, they just yeah. sit there and spew this crap all day long, and defend everything that he says. That's ridiculous. Yeah, well, they sit around unless they go out and go kill a black person for walking through the neighborhood. Yeah, and today yeah. they were spewing out that, uh, what did they say, 25% of black people are for the president? I don't know where the hell they got that. Yeah, yeah new people, right. 5%. Uh, that's up. But you know what? Uh, today's job figures, they said th there was 300,000 more jobs of uh, black, pe black uh, unemployment uh, in uh, increased jobs by 300,000. No, uh, they didn't. Um, that's not what we. Uh, that's not what but, I heard. But show of hands, who believes that? I, I don't no, believe no, that. I don't. <laughs> well, I even got to show my hand. <laughs> well, uh, can somebody look it up? Because I don't have a big computer on. Uh, only the phone. Uh, supposedly, supposedly, th these numbers may be somewhat inaccurate because they contain a lot of employment as a result of PPE or whatever that thing is, or PPP, whatever that. Yeah, thing. because people are staying yeah. home because and since, they're getting paid just yeah. as much to stay home. Yeah, since that hasn't been renewed, it might take a turn for the worse next time. Well, what do they, they do? They do this every week or what? No, it's a, once a month. A quarterly. Uh, uh, yeah, I think it's quarterly. No, it isn't quarterly. Uh, the jobs figures? I think it's weekly. weekly. If I remember weekly. correctly, it's been weekly. Well, they were doing it quarterly, but I think they're doing it more now because... They're trying to get more accurate numbers or stuff. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Well, uh, you know, I love the way he says things are getting better. We only have 13 million people unemployed. Whoop de yeah. do. I count the ones who not even on the Yes, list. yes, Brian. Three and a half million more jobs, yeah. and they thought they were going to lose eight million jobs in this report. Brian, you had your hand up. I think I think the big thing is the NFL. So uh, I don't know what people think about it. The people who are in sports, it, but. They, they really go back to Kaepernick saying that, you know, they haven't been listening to minorities enough in the NFL and that it wasn't about the flag, that it was really trying to raise awareness. Well, yep. you know, I mean, I think Kaepernick is a major hero at this point. Yeah, yeah right. You know, yeah. because he took a stand or took a knee, which, by the way, I don't consider a knee being disrespect to the Star huh. Spangled Banner, because if, if I were going to see the Queen and I was going to be knighted, what do I do? I kneel. He on was one doing knee. it against police. No, uh, he, but he, he, he was doing it because he wanted to make a statement. And he made the statement, and it hurt his career. He will go down in black history uh, as a pretty brave guy. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know? I agree. 
because and he was doing it at the advice of a of another um, serviceman. Right. We kneel in church. Yeah, that, yeah, absolutely. Is that true? Yeah. It had I, nothing to do with the flag. I have a good except that he was doing it during the flag. Yeah. 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 yeah, you're a big you're you're a big sports fan there, Josh. What do you think about the whole kneeling controversy? Which seems to be less of a controversy now than it was a couple of months ago. Yeah, I didn't I didn't think it was then. I mean, for one, it's the anthem. If you love this country and want to sing the anthem, go ahead. If you don't like this country and you don't want to stand for the anthem, that's the nice thing about living here. You don't have to. It's not the law. Well, isn't it something? And then second strange. of all, yeah. get the anthem over with. Play the fucking football game. I love America. Yeah. I've yeah. studied this fucking, you know. I, I don't need get it over with. What's the, la- the what, well, What's the last line of the Star Spangled Banner? Play ball. Well, so you know, I mean, <laughs> I mean, I, I, you know, I, I mean, I don't talk during it or whatever. You know, I'm just saying. I mean, I, you know. Well, I, I, I've always, I don't know about you, but I've always found, found that kind of jingoistic uh, that, you know, that we say, well, oh, we have to stand and put our hand over our heart for the flag while we play this song, uh, Star I, I Spangled Banner. I, I just whatever. find that so jingoistic because anybody can do that. A fucking right. communist who doesn't want people to know he's a communist can do That's that. Right. That's right. Your hat off and put it over your heart, not just the hand. No, I I just found it always jingoistic, you know. Um, and, and, and so I I never have liked the idea of necessarily standing for the Star Spangled Banner. I mean, it's a it's a fucking song. That's all it is. Well, uh, I on uh, Bloomberg News, just mm-hmm. to give you what I said. Uh, it, and there was a paragraph here. It says significant job losses during the pandemic have pushed the overall ratio of Americans with jobs just to above 50 percent. Mm-hmm. For Black Americans, that number is now just below 50 percent. So I guess the uh, Black American unemployment has dropped a little bit. Unemployment has dropped a little bit. Yeah, but not it, a lot. Not giving me the what, 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 what we're saying pers- is, I think it was a little early for the president to go around with bragging rights. You know, uh-huh. he could, he should have waited for two or three reports to make sure that it is going down, rather than next time it goes up. Then what's he going to say? Is he going to hold a press conference and say, uh, "Well, what he'll say is I don't believe the numbers." But I don't know. know if it's going to go up. Uh, you know, my Charles Schwab account is now in the positive. So yeah, but you, uh, don't stop with your Charles Schwab account, because what you did is you put 50 cents into a Charles Schwab, Schwab account. I, I, I and when it went up to 70 out. cents, you went bananas. Yeah. I mean, I, I looked at I looked at I looked at my Vanguard today, which I don't know how low it went. But I finally looked at the number because, you know, stock has been stocks have been going up. And I'm within about two thousand dollars of what I had before, and my uh, my 401k at Sirius is about fifteen hundred dollars short of what it was. Uh, so when, Trump is a genius. Uh, Look, hmm? you know how much money you're making. <laughs> you know, I want. I just wonder. You know what happens? You have uh, you have to pay taxes on earnings, on yeah. your, you know, right. on your on oh, your only, uh, only when you sell. Yeah. No, oh, okay. you, 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 uh, I, I, you have you have a fund. I have a fund, so I, I pay taxes right. on the dividend. Okay. Right. Now, when it went down, do I get to write that off? Did you read? I don't think so. If you sell it, Did if you, you sell it, but if you don't sell it, well, if you sell it and at a loss, I think that you can take it off. So, your tax. so, so let let's say now I I I've been paying taxes on these dividends all along, so that when I finally do cash out on my Vanguard, I never have to pay taxes on that money. All right, like I mm-hmm. took ten grand out of there to pay some lawyers' fees, and I didn't have to pay any taxes on that because the taxes were already paid. All right. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. So I paid it on the way when it was when it was up. Okay. And then it went mm-hmm. down. But they didn't pay me anything back, and I didn't get a tax deduction for losing money in my in my in my dividends. And now Did that it's gone up again, tax? am I going to be charged for the raise in price? Uh, 
I don't think so, unless you sell. But if you no, get no, a no, dividend, no, you're, you've, got that, you you've got that mixed, you've got that mixed up with income. regular stocks like a 401k or whatever. Where if I sell from my series, which is the last thing I'm going to sell, I have to pay taxes on the money of the stock that I sell. With Vanguard, mm. I don't have to because I paid on the dividends already, paid taxes on the dividends already. Okay, yeah. so now my question is, since I paid those dividends before when it was up, and then it went down, they didn't give me any money back or let me take it off my taxes or whatever, and now that it's going back up again, am I going to have to pay dividends on the money that has raised from the money that went down? That's a good question. You should call your uh, uh, your. The guy who handles your account and ask him. Yeah, well, I'll have to call him. He's in Bolivia right now. What he's doing with my money, I have no idea. He's got a lot of white lines in front of him. Huh? <laughs> Sopping that money up. <laughs> do, you, do you know an answer to that question, Rob, or am I... Uh, uh, no idea. I'm no financially idea. challenged. Oh, we're, uh, uh, no. I'm completely Pam. financially challenged. The only thing I, I, I kind of think what I don't Hmm? You know who's good with that, Alex? Shecky's yeah. very good with that. You could probably ask him. Oh, Shecky's very, quite good. He's very good. He, with I will ask Shecky. Shecky will know the, the answer guy to, go to that question. That, I would say, if I had a question, he's good with that. Yeah. I think Jeff's wife knows. She's very active with uh, investments, right? Yeah. Well, she doesn't let him even carry money in his pocket. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Uh, you're muted, Jeff. Uh, that's because I'm not allowed to say anything. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> so how's come when the market is up, that's because Trump did everything right, and, it, and it's because of him. But when the market is down and it was in the toilet, it's not his fault. No, it wasn't. It's it was somebody else's fault. Well, I mean, uh, no, I'm serious. I, I want a non-joke answer. I want to know why everyone's been running around in his party saying... Well, you have to reelect him. The market's as high as it's ever been, oh, and when it went in the toilet, it was something else's fault. It wasn't his. Now, bear in mind, I've always maintained that I don't think a president <coughs> has that much of a direct effect on the market overall, and I don't think they should get credit and or blame for the market success or failure, okay? But that's me. What I'm saying is you have his people running around saying... It's the greatest market ever, and it's all because of him. And now that it's the shittiest market ever, why is no one saying that it's his fault? Sycophants are people who say whatever they think needs to be said, and they give all the credit when it's good for them and none of the blame when it's bad for them. So so why is that? I, I mean, I, I don't understand. Even, even Biden can't blame Trump for the coronavirus. And uh, the shutdown that uh, immediately shut down the economy uh, due to the virus uh, is what tanked the economy temporarily, and you cannot blame Trump for that. And but, it's not coming from a sycophant. That's coming from the truth. Well, I can but blame. Been, I can blame been tanks before that, and and every time like, the, the market took a shit, the he sat around and didn't say a word, and nobody else did either. Uh, the market before been, the be, before the coronavirus, uh, there the, were times uh, when the 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 market went south. Yeah, and, there were. Couple of corrections, seven hundred points, three hundred points. Oh, they were correct. Yeah, they call them corrections. That, that's yeah, a that's I a see. nice way of saying you don't have cancer; you just have something eating away at you. You know. Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying that, but but that's not that's not an answer. I mean, what I said is what I see. The answer you want to hear? No, it went, it went down. Oh, but that's that's not his fault. It went up. Oh, that's completely to his credit. This he did what, that. This wasn't it his can't fault. Work that way. Uh, let me and, say. Let me and, say. First of all, you said something wrong, Phil. You no, said he, that you said was, that he wasn't responsible for the coronavirus. You're right about halfway on that one. He uh, is not responsible for the coronavirus. He is responsible for not dealing with it. Well, he dealt with it. No, he didn't deal concerned. with it. He did I, not deal with it, Phil. Other corrections that were reactions he to... ignores me. I'll say something worth it. Alex, the, you know, I'm saying that Josh has is, is got so, a point in that the market dropped uh, on things that um, Trump had said uh, in, in uh, previous months. So there were some corrections. He made certain statements uh, when he uh, uh, said he was going to put tariffs on China. Uh, yeah, that, that. Uh, yeah, that caused the market to drop. 
and that was a reaction to something Trump did that caused the market to drop. But I don't believe that you can uh, blame Trump for shutting down the economy and the coronavirus uh, and the and the massive drop that that had taken place. Uh, now, uh, if the curve is is instead of a U or an L happens to be a V, I'm very happy with that. You know? Right, and, and but you have to bear in mind, I'm not saying that I blamed him for the market's drop. I don't necessarily blame him. Well, what, for the what, what you're drop. saying, it was, that, a, what, it was a reaction to what happened to the country. Right. I'm just saying that people in this country who are supporters of him, and this has happened in the past with other presidential parties, that's fine. That's part of our problem. Oh, right. something good happened. Oh, my guy did that. Something bad happened. Well, my, my guy didn't do that. Him. And I just, said, I just said that the market dropped uh, 700 points uh, one time based on his statements about China and the tariffs. So, you know, I, I mean, you know, I said... No, but, that, I know, but, but what Josh is trying to say here is you can't have it both ways. You can't brag when the market goes up and deny that it's your fault when it goes down. You got well, you, In other the, words, you got to take the good with the bad. This one's his, you know? I mean, the, this one is... He, no, no, he, he has done nothing. Good. He has done nothing to get this market better. What he what what's happened is the the rise today, for instance, was based on those job numbers. If next week those job numbers go the other way, watch the market tank again. Uh, Kudlow said that Kudlow uh, doesn't know shit. He said from, that uh, some that Lisa Kudlow, the, the Lisa Kudlow, yes, <laughs> right. <laughs> some areas of the country were opening up earlier, maybe mid-April. Uh, others in the beginning of May, and those uh, have caught, brought back, I don't remember the exact percentage of employment, but uh, as the rest of the country mm -hmm. opens, yeah. uh, those yeah. employment yeah. numbers will go up again. Yes, and the death numbers will rise as well. Well, those people won't have a job. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> There's a lot of openings. <laughs> That's terrible. Well, good. Maybe, maybe, maybe there'll be an opening for me. It's serious if somebody <laughs> dies over there. <laughs> yeah. Yes, uh, Charlie. I just want to mention that uh, Texas had 2,566 new coronavirus cases yesterday, and that was a new record. Really? Wow. And everything's open. And, and everything's open down there, right? Yeah. Our movie theaters open. Expect. Our, our, really our, our movie theaters open yet? No, I don't think so. Yeah, because they're, they're in some states they're thinking next week of opening up the movie theaters. I don't know how they're going to do that. You can't get me. AMC, AMC said they don't think they're going to survive this. Re hmm. Really? Yeah. I mean, wow. I can't see. How, would you go to a movie theater? I mean, I love going to the movies. I mean, but I, hell, I, a new James I, Bond movie's coming out. I'll pay 20 bucks to see it at home. I'm not going to the theater. Yeah. You know, it's I'm been not. that I've actually wanted to see a movie in the theater, you know, with the, the theater seats at home and the big TV and the surround sound. In, in your home, if you have a 65-inch screen and yeah. you're sitting a certain distance from that 65-inch screen, it's a matter of how much the screen takes up of your field of view. If it takes up the same field of view that it would in a the movie theater, and you got the stereo sound, and you got some popcorn, which, by the way, the popcorn you got at home is much cheaper than what you yes, get at the theater. Say, ever, because at the theater, and this is the absolute truth, the box the popcorn comes in costs more to make than the popcorn itself. That's right. That's right. Okay. But you know what's good is that Orville Redenbacher's uh, candied uh, popcorn. Oh, you like the flavored ones? It's it's like it's got caramel uh, candy on it or something. It's like Cracker Jacks. Yeah. yeah. Kind of, it's it, it's but hot. Bye. And, and <laughs> <laughs> the memes do not stop. That 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 picture was the worst thing he could have done. Yeah. He must be so oh. mad. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at his eyes. He must yeah. be so mad. Yeah. Yeah. It was such a bad idea. Oh, yeah. Boy. John John Kelly was uh John you... Kelly was backing Mathis today, right? Yes. Yeah, oh yeah. Mathis. Yeah, a lot a lot of generals, a lot of military people are coming out 
against Trump. These, these are typically conservative people. They're all idiots, huh? They're all wrong. Well, these are people who, just by their very nature, would back the president because he's the Absolutely. president. Okay? Except and they're, they and they're bailing on him. And I think you're going to start seeing a lot of Republican senators and congressmen yeah. starting to bail on him as well. Because people I are getting worried. People are getting it's worried. It's not a joke about, anymore. Well, they're worried about his, his attitude, mm. you know, and that he doesn't seem like someone who has control of the rudder of the ship. Doesn't have control of himself. Yeah, yeah. He yeah. can't control his emotions. Now, uh, you know, Phil, I, he can't control his emotions. If somebody says boo to him, he's got to pound them. Yeah. This is got. This is a person who has a. Yeah. He's got a real personal. He's got many personal. Did issues. you hear what? Did you hear what? Where they come from, I don't know. Did you he's hear? A dangerous person yeah. to have, in his seat. Did you hear what Obama implied today? He didn't mention Trump by name, but he said we have certain politicians in this country who blame people for faults they have. That's too, yeah, we know what he's talking about. You know, when Trump he's calls somebody something, it's because that's his problem, problem. you know? Uh, people in general. Uh, I mean... Oh, look, here's uh, here's uh, here's John Larkin. He got home, so we got him. That was a good steak. Oh, oh, uh, you, I mean... Uh, you, went over, you went over there and got a steak at Tad's, right? Yeah. Uh-huh. It was good. Really? It's the spot. Really, yep. you got a yeah. full house. Do we have a full house? Yeah. New mask. Oh yeah. Should I put mm -hmm. up the full house uh, <laughs> uh, thing? <laughs> full house. Full yeah, house. The disposable house. ones you can make your own scene. See? Yeah. There you go. I'll send it to you, Phil. Don't worry. Hey, if if you had a hole in it, you could actually give Trump the blowjob. Uh. <laughs> right, here we go. There we go. There we go. Full house. There we go. Um, well, we'll see if I'm proven wrong, you know, mm -hmm. and I hope I am, but I, I still don't know if I buy into the fact that some of these Republicans are not going to vote for him. I mean, I don't know. I'm not there yet. Like like Lisa Murkowski. Well, I mean, again, like I'm back to some of these other people. Like what, I'm supposed to respect her now all of a sudden because she said a little something bad about him or whatever. I mean, to me, it's horse shit. If the election were tomorrow, she'd vote for that motherfucker twice. I don't think, Lisa, you know, I'm sorry, but she would because she's just like all the rest of the people in that party. She has no fucking principle whatsoever. She so she is emboldened to him mm -hmm. and the power that it brings her to be reelected. I mean, if she's a genuine human being and she wants to start saying what she thinks and and saying what she means, then let's get it started. But, you know, other than that, you know, like I, I just I don't trust any of them. Fucking Mitt Romney will vote for that motherfucker if he can John, tomorrow. I can fucking John, guarantee you. He, John, he's another fucking sellout. Yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. they're all fucking like that, man. Remember what they all said about him before he became the candidate? Jeff, right. Jeff had his hand up, by the way. Jeff? You're muted, Jeff. Muted. He's muting yeah. challenged. I know. It's, it's gonna <laughs> well, at least he's not deaf. What'd you say? <laughs> I took the test today. No. Oh. oh okay. Test. Yeah. Yeah. How yeah. many until the, they gave you the results? Oh, uh, they said five days. Oh. But that's I, the true test. What happens if you have a false positive? Because my, like what happened with my mother, right? Yeah. They gave right. her a test and. What happens if you get a false positive? You you well you're home so you don't pass. You don't, you don't they're not going to make you go to the hospital. There's no, no. symptoms. Don't pass. Yeah, you don't pay. pay. <laughs> no. no, what they say no, for you. It's annoying though to stick to like, stick it in your nose and it's like oh. What does that feel like? Yeah. Not, not nice. No, I know. I mean, after three minutes, it's gone. You forgot about it. Hey, Brian. It goes in about that far. Aren't they doing one that? Yeah. You do inside the cheek? No, uh, it goes in your nose and back. I know, but they're trying to slap the one, but I don't know. Yeah, yeah. it goes. To oh, slap yes. it. Up your nose. Are... It's up your nose with a rubber hose. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What are they, they have to get to your brain in order to find out if you have the corona. It's pretty. It's, pretty yeah. well, it's got to be an easier. They way. keep I'm going until they hear the clunk on your brain pan. <laughs> They Didn't they used boom, to do boom. lobotomies through your eyelids? Uh, well, I'll ask Marjorie on Monday when she comes back, like, you know, what it was like. 
because she's, oh, she's she, having it too. She has to have it before she um, has this. Uh, she had, other than Jeff, who on this thing tonight, the 10 people, have had the COVID test? Uh, oh, you've had it, John. I had. Yeah? Oh, yeah. And, and up the nose? Yeah, and it back, it goes goes straight back. Ooh. Far. Goes my 89 year far. old mom's had it twice. Yeah, my mother too. Right. Yeah. She said, if you can't do it, you're a wuss. I thought I said the mom's had it and I don't think Trump had it once. I don't think he did that once. No, because he does it every day. Too macho. He's a wimp. <laughs> yeah. He said he does it every day. No. And twice on Sunday. Yeah. Jack. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, it would be good if he did that. Be, you know, uh, you know, I mean, we're, we're talking about uh, keeping the people around you safe as well. Uh, but I mean, his his complete desire not to wear a mask, you know, like it's not manly. What? <laughs> I mean, that's not the reason. That's just an All excuse. Like, no, you said man. people with asthma and breathing problems uh, have trouble with the mask. Uh, and you have you heard? You know, when he talks, he's he's. Yes. I, Phil, yes. uh, Phil, I have asthma. Okay. Yeah. That's why I get these breathing problems when the, the pollen acts up. Yeah, well, Had it when I was a kid. And uh, yes, uh, it's a little harder for me to breathe with the mask on, uh, but I it, it not so bad that I can't. It's that it's going to kill me. Yes, and and I and and not using it will kill me. So Trump you does know. have a breathing like he has yes. coke. You know yeah, how he does. Baiting, he does. People said, "Oh, is he snorting cocaine or something?" Right. And he really <laughs> sounds uh, like a chronic case of coke nose. Uh, again, I don't understand this shit. I mean, I can't vote for for Biden because he's he's older than fucking dirt, sleepy yeah. Joe. But my <laughs> Trump, goddamn, he's as healthy as a fucking horse. Oh, but he can't wear a mask because he has breathing problems. Well, fucking Biden wears a mask, and he seems to talk fucking fine to me. This is what I'm saying. Every fucking thing that comes up, you people will try to fucking turn it around oh, and, no. and, and, and gotcha. make some goddamn excuse for him. I mean, I don't care if he wears one or not. I'm just saying this is what happens. Trump can't wear a mask because he has bone spurs. <laughs> <laughs> and that's and then that's what you do when you don't have an answer. You make a fucking joke. I, I, I make jokes. That's the deal. You, you 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 know you're gonna to talk to me. You're gonna get a joke. That's just no, the no, way. It to is. begin with, you're gonna get an alleged joke. Let's be honest about this. Alleged, okay. Yes. Alleged, yeah. it's good. You know because it, 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 I can't tell you how many I can't tell you how many times you've actually believed you were on an imaginary role. Yeah, he, he gave me the line. I had to come back with a retort. Well, the 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 point, point, for the line. point was it, it wasn't unfunny, but you know, um, I I know why. You know, Josh it can be frustrating bummed. when you're trying to have a serious point, though. I yeah. Think. You know, the serious point I made earlier, which is he's got a breathing problem and maybe that's why he's not he's wearing a mask. Well, maybe that's the re maybe maybe, maybe that's the excuse for the lack of oxygen to his brain. I think the doctor said originally his doctor said he's the most healthy president who's ever been in the office. Yeah, right? yeah, so so who the fuck's lying to me tonight? You were the fucking doctor. I mean, <laughs> uh, well, that's. Just, I'm back to my original point. I think right. it's also one pound I, under the obesity limit too, the right? Thing it you yeah. had something to do with his health. It might just have something to do with him in the past. Yeah, yeah. Well, Spray uh, tan wears then, off too. Then why can't everyone fucking say that? <laughs> he, you know why he doesn't want to wear the mask? Because that orange will come off on the mask. Yes. Yeah. And then everybody will know. They don't have like a big square. What, 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 wait a minute. What, what does it say? Not if he wears an orange oh, mask. Well, fuck, fuck if he Trump. can't wear it because his pussy hurts, why can't he just say I can't wear it because it makes my fucking pussy hurt? How yeah. fucking hard is that? He should wear an orange mask. Okay, well, we've had enough There's jokes tampons, tonight right? at our president's expense. Do you notice nobody calls him President Trump? All the news people call him Mr. Trump? Uh, yeah. I I'm President Trump. Do you really? I have been capitalizing. Oh, I see. Okay. Well, anyway, hey, hey, listen, everybody. That's it for tonight. Thank you very much, Josh. Thank you for being here. Brian, thank you. Thank you, Phil. Thank you, uh, Pamela. Uh, thank you, Tony. Thank you, Charlie. I just read the names as they're here. Rob, thank you. Kevin, thank you. John Larkin, thank you. 
Why don't you all give a big wave goodbye, and I'll wave back at you, okay? There they go, ladies and gentlemen. That's the Citizen Panel for tonight. Let me just uh, kill my Skype here, uh, although Skype does a good enough job of killing it themselves. Um, I quit Skype. Well, wait a minute. Hold on, hold on a second. First, I have to... Oh, God, this is ridiculous. Uh, uh, here, I'll stop it. There we go. All right, then I can go up here and I can uh, turn it off so that uh, I'm invisible. And then Jack can turn it back on in a few minutes. Jack Bishop, he's here with the intersection next over most of the same station. See you again on Tuesday, 1030 Eastern Daylight Time. In the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye. Have a nice weekend and stay safe. Wear a mask and keep your distance.